lovelies how's it going hope all is well welcome back to my channel today i'm here doing an updated video two incidents that happened that were very very big here on youtube i just wanted to tell you guys what's going on with that because i feel like we have this big thing where we have this cancel culture but we never really do any follow-ups so i decided let me go ahead and do a follow-up video so the first situation happened with serena williams and it was a tv host that said that serena williams looked exactly like one of those monkeys at the zoo with the red he also added and said if monkeys wear trousers they'll look like serena williams does on the court so once everyone on twitter even youtube made their video and had their commentary about this incident, the council decided to create a press release and said that he violated their journalism guidelines and implied that this was not the first time that he said something offensive to minorities. They're quoted with saying, the governing board shows that slavery of people of color was based among other things on their comparisons with monkeys. As a result, such statements express a form of extreme racism. Now, this is what happened when everybody simmered down and the heat was off of them. They decided to fine him $1,875 for the comments. However, they allowed him to keep his job. It's very sad to say, but this is something that she has dealt with her entire career, her and her sister. The first instance a lot of fans will remember was the 2001 tournament in Indian Wells, California. And Serena and her sister Venus were booed by fans who accused them of match fixing. Keep in mind that tennis fans are typically well behaved. And then, according to the Williams family, things got worse. Serena said she heard people shouting the N-word. And then she heard someone tell her to go back to Compton. Tennis broadcasters, commentators, they have spent decades just joking about her body shape and repeatedly comparing her physique to animals, even multiple tennis players. They have insulted her after matches by calling her a man and comparing her to an animal, even a lady by the name of Anna. She was quoted in the book saying, I hate my muscles. I'm not Venus Williams. I'm not Serena Williams. I'm feminine. I don't want to look like they do. I'm not that masculine like they are and this is in the chapter black ain't beautiful in sports the case of the williams sisters for decades people have tried to say that their body is comparable to men there was another incident that happened earlier this year with the cartoon and a lot of people felt that it was like a jim crow era ish type of cartoon. Dude basically denied that the cartoon drawing was racist. He said he had absolutely no knowledge of the Jim Crow era cartoons and African Americans. He also was quoted saying, I'm not targeting Serena. I mean, Serena is a champion. I drew her as an African American woman. She's powerfully built. She wears these outrageous costumes when she plays tennis. She's interesting to draw. I drew her as she is, as an African-American woman. So you guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this whole situation. Now on to Gucci Bandana. Gucci, Gucci Bandana. Hey! So if you guys don't remember, not too long ago, Gucci had this very offensive sweater that came out, and it caused for everyone to boycott, especially hip-hop. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, talk about H&M then, you know what I'm saying? It's quick to run straight back in there. And that's why we ain't never got no world. Now here we are, we got Gucci. We buy more of they shit than Italians do. Now, they want our business somewhere, they want to got Dapper Dan to become a designing consultant. So, we don't have to force them to like us. But what we do have to do is stop spending our motherfucking money with people who gonna continue to give you their to kiss. The only reason Gucci had it because we made that shit high. This was engine that was on. This was engine that was on. All that alone. We make that like. We make. Look at me. Last month. Got this. I look better than you, as a matter of fact. I look better than you. Yeah, you do it, but I look better than you. You used to rock that. Yeah, yeah, you too. That's what I'm saying. They showed me they did respect me. Guess so, what? So I can't do it no more. None of them like us black folks. So if we, if you don't buy, buy, man, don't, don't run off when they find us. Some other shit. How they feel about it? You why not? Why not? I'm not because they just talking to all the people. No, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna try to tell you. I'm gonna try to tell you. We, we become now. When we become now. 
you driving or whatever, how you know to make sure your car don't even like Said, I can't spend my money with man. That's you. Your no, it's all ours together. We must unify. We must unify. Look, kids, they ain't. It's by default for them. It's them old. Uh, Y'all just need to stop putting their clothes on. Stop making the excuses. Stop accepting them apology. If you see a model in their clothes, you know what it is. It's that simple. Start investing in, into black high fashion. They all on Instagram there. Y'all call it boutique clothes and degrade them. Black high fashion if you're a black person. It's that simple. It's not being racist, not picking sides. That's how it goes. You wear all that high end designer, European, no disrespect to it. And they're too small for us. It ain't it ain't made for our body. Black high fashion designers. It's your boy, Soldier Boy. And in terrifying to notice, Gucci is canceled. I'm shocked and I'm appalled. And I feel disrespected. I supported y'all brands. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. And y'all came out with a shirt with blackface on it. Gucci is canceled. We're only rocking Fendi headbands from now on. Whether we want to admit this or not, in most cases, it's a self-esteem problem. You know, most of us, not all of us, um, we, we don't buy these things because they're higher quality. We don't even test the quality. Um, we buy it because rich white people wear it. And we feel like if we wear the same rich white folks wear it, then it makes us better people. And that's some bull. So a lot of people spoke about the Gucci incident. They were not the only ones. That's just all I could find right now on social media. But there were so many celebrities that called Gucci out for this incident. Gucci did apologize, and this is what the brand said. Gucci deeply apologized for the offense caused by the wool jumper. We can confirm that the item has been immediately removed from our online store and physical stores. We consider diversity to be a fundamental value to be fully upheld, respected, and at the forefront of every decision we make. We are fully committed to increasing diversity throughout our organization and turning this incident into a powerful learning moment for the Gucci team and beyond. People weren't feeling the apologies. Then you had some people that were talking about, you know, we always boycott and cancel all these companies, but then we're shopping there in the next two weeks. So you guys, I'm here today with the update and to let you guys know that Maybe the boycott worked. According to several different sites, shares fell nearly 6% after signs of a slowdown with the cash cow Gucci. Gucci's latest sales growth of 20% was less than the 28% three months earlier and down nearly 50% at the start of 2018. Investors had grown accustomed to Gucci being forecast by a wide margin and it slowed down because of their weak performance in the United States. Also reported that Gucci's earned media value fell by one third in March. When I was reading about the numbers and reading up on the sales of Gucci I automatically thought about the United States I thought about all the celebrities canceling this particular brand and it just made me think okay maybe they did something now when they were asked did the backlash play any part in the sales he totally dismissed the idea that it had anything to do with them, you know, having hurt sales this quarter. But to me, um, I don't know. I kind of side eye it because I do feel like if they still had all the celebrities backing them up, especially being that the sales were dropped in the United States, I do feel like they'll still be at the top. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this situation. I would love to hear down below. How do you guys feel about me doing videos on updates of the things that we as a community have canceled? Of course, I'm not a part of the cancel culture, but I would love to update you guys on things that I have read because I'm always looking at articles that I don't think nobody else is looking at. So I have no problem with doing that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.